Assalamu alaikum, dear learners. I hope you are doing well. Today, our discussion topic is right form of verb part 3. Let's talk about the basic concept of active voice and passive voice. In an active voice, subject is active. That means subject can perform the action here you can see he helps me he is a subject that performs action that means he does something here me is an object okay so in a passive voice the object of an action is made into a subject okay so here subject is inactive that means which is acted upon by the performer let's see the example here i am helped that means i is a subject which is acted upon by the performer he here i have shown different forms of verbs which we use in active voice and also passive voice here i have categorized them into three tenses these are present indefinite past indefinite and future indefinite let's talk about uh, present indefinite tense where we use present form of main verb what present form of main verb okay if i give you an example which is he follows the rules follows which is an example of present form of main verb. If I talk about passive voice, we will find am oblique is oblique are plus past principle of main verb. Okay, so the rules are followed by him. The rules are followed by him. Here, are followed is a form of verb which we use at the time of making a passive sentence. Let's talk about past indefinite tense. In active voice, we use past form of main verb. What? Past form of main verb. For examples, he described the topic. He described the topic. Described is an example of past form of main verb. In passive voice, we follow this form, which is was oblique or plus past participle of main verb. Was oblique or plus past participle of main verb. I can say the topic was discussed by him. Was discussed is a form of verb which we use at the time of making passive voice. Let's talk about future indefinite tense. Where in active voice we use shall or will, and after that we use base form of main verb. What? Shall or will, and after that we use base form of main verb. We can say he will solve the problem. He will solve the problem will solve is a form of verb which we use at the time of making uh, an active sentence which is in future indefinite tense if i talk about passive voice we will follow the structure which is shall or will plus be plus past participle of main verb okay let's talk about an example which is the problem will be solved by him the problem will be solved by him. Okay, so will be solved is a form of verb which we use at the time of making passive voice, which is in future indefinite tense. Okay. Before going to the discussion, let's talk about present participle. What is present participle? Present participle refers to ing form of verb. That means progressive mode. Okay, let's talk about this chart. 
Here we can see present continuous. In active voice, we will use this form of verb where we can find am, oblique is, oblique are plus present participle of verb. That means verb plus ing. Uh, for example, he is making a noise. He is making a noise. Is making is a form of verb which we use at the time of making a active sentence or active voice in present continuous tense. If I talk about this form, we will find that am oblique is oblique are plus being plus plus participle of main verb. Okay, so a noise is being made by him. A noise is being made by him. Is being made is a form of verb which we use at the time of making a passive voice in present continuous tense. Okay, so let's talk about past continuous. Okay, so if you want to um, mention something in active voice, but especially in past continuous, in you need to focus on the structure that is was oblique or was oblique or plus present participle. That means ing form. You can say, he was disturbing us. Was disturbing is a form of verb which we use in active sentence, especially past continuous. Let's talk about this, this form. Was oblique or plus being plus past participle. That means it is in past continuous tense. So let's give an example which is, we are being disturbed by him. We are being disturbed by him. Are being disturbed is a form of verbs which we use in passive mode. Okay, so let's talk about future continuous tense. Like in active voice, we use shall oblique will plus be. Plus present participle of main verb as a form of verb. Okay, so uh, let's give an example. They will be playing cricket. They will be playing cricket. Will be playing cricket is a form of verb which we use in active sentence or in active mode. So here in passive mode or in passive voice, we use shall or will plus be and being and after that we have to use past participle of main verb okay so we can say cricket will be being played by them cricket will be being played by them okay so will be being played as a form of verb which we use in passive sentence or in passive mode thank you Here, present perfect tense. In active voice, we have to maintain this form of verb, which is have oblique has plus past participle of main verb. For example, he has solved the problem. Has solved is a form of verb which we use in active voice. Here, in passive voice, we have to focus on this form, which is have oblique has plus being plus past participle. You can say the problem has been solved by him. The problem has been solved. So has been solved is a form of verb which we use in passive voice. Okay, so past perfect. In active voice, we can see had plus past participle. Okay, so you can say he had played cricket. He had played cricket. So had played is related to this part. Okay, here you can see had been plus past participle. You can say cricket had been played by them. Had been played. 
Okay, so had been played is related to this part. Last one is future perfect. So in active sentence, we can say shall oblique will plus have plus first participle. That means he will have done the work. Will have done is a form of verb which is related to this part. In passive voice, we can say shall or will plus have been plus first participle of main verb. Uh, for example, cricket will have been played by them. Cricket will have been played by them. So this example is related to this part.